during those rare times is when you really get to understand what you actually believe or don't believe. Yeah, it's it's funny. When I first started meditating, it was really hard, right? Because everybody, I, I think a lot of people who listen to this broadcast, they've heard of meditation that has a good rep. So everybody tries it, they struggle, they kind of give it up. It's one of those things that everybody says they do, but nobody actually does, <laughs> right? It's like not eating sugar, right? right. Everyone right. talks about how, yeah, I don't eat sugar, but like, yeah, then, right. then the dessert tray rolls around and everyone's going for the cookies, <laughs> yep. right? Yep. So it's become one of those things. And, and in fact, it's now even become a signaling thing where mm. it's like, oh, how much did you meditate? I right. meditated this much. Yep. Or, you know, there are people now wearing headbands saying with Tweety birds that chirp and then when they're in deep meditation, I don't, I don't know how they make it work, but they'll be like, I got a lot of chirps today. How many chirps did you get? Oh, right? God. Oh, your meditation technique is wrong. Mine is right. But yeah. really all it is is the art of doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's important because I think when we, when we grow up, right, there's all this stuff happening to you in your life. And some of it you're processing, some of it you're absorbing, and some of it you should probably think a little bit more about and work through, but you don't, you don't have time. So it gets buried in you. And it's all these preferences and judgments and unresolved situations and issues. And it's like your email inbox. It's just piling up email after email after email that's not answered, going back 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And then when you sit down to meditate, those emails start coming back at you. Hey, what about this issue? What about that issue? Have you solved this? Did you think about that? You have regrets there? You have issues there? And that gets scary. People don't want to do that. So like, it's not working. I can't clear my mind. I better get up and not do this. But really what's happening is it's, it's, it's self-therapy. It's just that instead of paying a therapist to sit there and listen to you, you're listening to yourself. And you just have to sit there as those emails go through one by one. You work through each of them until you get to the magical inbox zero. And there comes a day when you sit down, you realize the only things you're thinking about are things that happened yesterday because you've processed everything else, not necessarily even resolved it, but at least listen to yourself. And that's when meditation starts. And I think it's a, it's a very powerful thing that everybody should experience. And that's when you arrive upon the art of doing nothing. Well, I think it's even a problem that most people are getting their meditation from an app. I will not use an app. It's sneaky. <laughs> I mean, Sam Harris is a very good meditation app, I should say that. But you should be able to just do it. And m many people can't. It is, it is literally the art of doing nothing. Yes. So all you need to do for meditation is just sit down, close your eyes, comfortable position, whatever happens, happens. If you think, you think. If you don't think, you don't think. Don't put effort into it. Don't put effort against it. It's all you need. Do you concentrate on your breath or nothing. do you have a specific nothing. technique? Nothing. 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 No, you just, you just sit. You just sit. 